welcome back to Adventuring with Angie. Last week, I got to know the local community a bit more. I dove back into an old hobby and I picked up one of my best friends in Oakland. This is a very special week and episode for me because I get to share this human with all of you. Come with me as I bring Oscar into my world and reflect on how far we've both come. We're getting outside, we're getting deep, and most of all, we're getting to do it all together. Let's do this. Sorry to leave y'all on a little cliffhanger last week, but you have to understand, it just made a little sense for me to tell the complete story. After bringing Oscar back to the woods, we immediately got to filling each other in on our lives. <laughs> That's your life. <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> That's so funny. This is so good, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I want to tell you about Oscar, but first I want to tell you about our day on Sunday. Oh my God, we got to explore my cute little town and we checked out a bunch of local thrift stores. I never really got into thrifting, but today I found so many gems that I suddenly understood the thrill. I got two high quality winter coats that I'm sure you're gonna see me in soon because it's already getting cold out. We also found this giant warehouse of Japanese antiques and it truly stroked my creative muscles as I was drooling over far too many items in the space. We both settled on smaller trinkets that we could adorn our spaces with. We closed our night in a way only great friends can and that is by doing our own things, but near each other. Oscar wanted to catch some football and I wanted to redo a few braids that started to slip and absolutely loved that we could just do that together. Hills. Hills every day. Number four, number five. We made it to the river. <laughs> On Monday, we decided to kickstart our adventures with a hike along the river. Oscar and I haven't known each other terribly long, but I'm pretty sure we both knew we'd be friends when we met back in 2018. We worked together for less than a year and he lived in New York while I was in SF. But in that year, we grew so close and came to lean on one another as we navigated the demanding challenges of that job. By the end of that year, I had moved to a different company, but we remained friends, regardless of the distance. In the five years that we've known each other, we've seen and supported one another through some of the most difficult human experiences. From breakups to unemployment, to changing life paths and exploring recovery, Oscar and I have been right there with one another, while also giving plenty of room. Something I love about our friendship is that we're soul family, no doubt. We don't have to talk every day to be in each other's heart or mind. And when we get to reconnect, whether it's in person or just a series of voice notes back and forth, it's like we never left. I've only met a few people like this in my lifetime and I'm so grateful to share this existence with him. On our way out from the river, we were stopped on the trail by hundreds of ladybugs just crawling all over. The most beautiful gathering of them under the trees, glowing in the sun's ray and making sure we see them. It felt magical, like we were on a Nat Geo expedition to observe them. But they were just here by the river, enjoying the fall just like us. I looked it up when I got home and apparently the female ladybugs migrate to the lowlands to wait out the winter before traveling back up into the hills to procreate and continue their life cycle. People apparently travel across the world just to see them gather like this, and it felt so surreal to just be there and witness all of that life. I don't think either of us will ever forget it. While we finished up our work, Oscar had the idea of shaving his head, so... Okay, go ahead, and we're all good, I trust you. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kneading it up. <laughs> adventuring with Angie, shaving your head with Angie. <laughs> living, just, just living. <laughs> Oscar told me he wanted to just drop into my life as it is. And listen, I'm going to take him up on that. I don't have any videos from our dance tonight. I have some silly selfies after that probably sum up my mood and experience. It is Scorpio season. That's all I'll say. Good morning. Listen, it's cold out. It feels blatantly cold. Enzo, come. Come. With the last few days being so eventful and busy, I felt relieved to see the weather shift just enough to slow us both down. 
I spent some time editing and finishing an episode while Oscar worked on some of his own tasks. Today is a lazy day. It is Wednesday and what am I doing today? Uh, Enzo's at daycare today, which is really, really nice for me to just chill and relax. And I think Oscar and I are gonna go walk around and hang out today. Let us pray. Hi. Hi. I don't know how many days Oscar's been here, but we're finally walking the land. <laughs> I, I, I think it's like day four. <laughs> we saw such abundant life on the property, and even in this cold weather, it feels like such a treat to be under these trees. At the same time, the cold was encouraging me to cook up something warm and delicious. My new friend Eric is coming by to hang out tonight, and Oscar is actually heading out for a meeting, so I wanted to make sure he got some food before leaving. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> I like, can't go back to the way I was just feeding myself. I gotta like set my own game up. I mean, you know, there's like a level at which I live. Enzo, drop it. Hey. Enzo! Hey. Bring it back though. Put it back in the fireplace. <laughs> Good morning. My thermostat is saying it's 39 degrees outside. Oh man, I gotta get out. <laughs> and you have a natural fur coat all the time, my baby boy. So you don't even need anything. Oh, what a nugget. Oh, I love you. Anyways, we're gonna take him to daycare and then I'm gonna come back home. I woke up Thursday feeling excited for the day and just really grateful for all the kind souls in my life right now. I picked up these oyster mushrooms at the farmer's market this weekend and I really wanted to fry them up, but I didn't actually have a full plan in mind and I didn't think I was going to commit to a 45 minute lunch, but they did come out absolutely delicious. I ended up throwing them on top of some rice with a freshly made sweet and sour sauce and oh my god. Seriously, I don't know how I treat myself this well time and time again. It was a delicious lunch. It was absolutely divine. And I'm so glad that Oscar was able to take a break from some of his work and come out and enjoy this with me as well. Once we closed up shop and finished eating, we set out to enjoy a sunset hike and hang. On the way up, I stopped at a bridge to show Oscar. And from there, I actually took him to the lake spot a friend showed me over the summer. <laughs> This is great. I'm gonna pick the easy route. Yep. Looking at life with more ease. The evening couldn't have been any more magical. Sitting under the setting sun's glow, days before the lunar eclipse, and sharing this moment with Oscar as we reflect on our lives that we've both lived over the last five years, it felt really full circle. Like we were both coming back to ourselves. Like all of the lessons from the ups and downs of the past few years are actually integrating now and showing us that we've grown tremendously. Oh man, look at this beautiful mess. I like just am so um, motivated to when I get back home. Yeah. To be in the woods. Yeah, just get outside. Just get outside. Like my body feels more like I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, I wanna be moving. You know? Yeah. Like I woke <laughs> up and I was like, I wanna be outside. You it's know? wild how quickly it happens. Like I never thought I would be <laughs> living a life where I'm just like go, go, go and like yes. running through the woods and mm -hmm. getting excited about like being you know, outside. Yeah, just every part of it. Oscar and I have one more day together and we fully intend to make the most of it. The lighting's good. <laughs> Do I have anything to say? No, other than the lighting's great and we look cute, so I thought we should capture this. <laughs> he said water and beautiful views. I said Highway 20. I feel like Highway 20 is just like an adventure lover's paradise. I'm about to. 
made of work. <laughs> Each one's like a breakfast sandwich, a smoked salmon breakfast sandwich. You can't even see where we are. It's like so it's just too beautiful. You have to come here. I mean, please visit. <laughs> responsibly <laughs> though. Is it responsibly? It's indescribable, like the movement inside that I had or that I felt when I saw those spaces. You know, the world, the earth is so expansive and we are the earth, which means we are also so expansive. Yeah, it just gets better. <laughs> and better. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're at some pools and we're hiking, mountain goat style. Being here helped me to think about, okay, hey, what kind of energy do I want to bring back home with me? You know, I don't want this just to end here. I don't want to, to I don't want this to be like a week long retreat that I just do once in a while, you know? Like, how do I bring what I experienced here, what I felt here, what I learned here about myself and about community and about shared space and about being in nature? How do I bring that back home with me and carry it with me? I lost a sense of urgency while I was here. Urgency is a man made thing really was present in the here and now. It was a magical time. On our way home and entirely unplanned, we stopped to eat some Thai food in town. The sun began to set as we left the restaurant and as we passed the ridge on the way to my house, I pulled over and screamed. Oh my gosh, listen, do we even deserve? It's coming. I'm just going all in. Just going all in. Just yesterday I told Oscar, I want to catch the moon at sunset in this exact spot and bring my drone. And somehow, some way, today was the day. I didn't even know if it was visible from this ridge. So when I saw it, I slammed my brakes. We both acknowledged how surreal it was to see that after just speaking it into existence and delighted in capturing a few moments to remember what felt like a serendipitous dream. <laughs> I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> Till next time. Till next time, hopefully soon. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on another week of adventures. If you enjoyed this episode, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Next week, I'm slowing down and recharging, but only after an all night Halloween party. I'll share what I get into this weekend, some adventures with Enzo, and there's even this more cooking so in cool. nature. I can't wait to share and I'll see you next week. Bye.